I think it was a, just a, an adventure, you know, going to sea or whatever. And uh, so I graduated from high school and uh, joined the Navy. I was in the 6th Division, which was a boat division. And we were in charge of the 5-inch 25 anti-aircraft guns on the port side. And I was a sight setter in the port director, which was a uh, one deck above the bridge. I just finished uh, breakfast, and uh, some sailors were hollering on the, yelling on the bow of the ship about doing something at, on Fort Island there. So I go up and take, check it out, and uh, sure enough, uh, one of the planes peeled away, and I could see the big red Japanese insignia, and I knew it was the Japanese right away, and they were bombing Fort Island. So I started for my battle station, and we started firing at them. At that time, the whole world thought the battleship was the extreme weapon on the high seas. Well, no, it is not. It's the aircraft carriers and the aircraft. I could see the torpedo planes coming in and the torpedoes in the water. I could see the Pennsylvania over here in Dry Dock and the West Virginia and the Tennessee and the ahead of us and the Nevada behind. Just everybody was getting hit, but the dive bombers and the strafers and the high altitude bombers is what was hurting us. We couldn't. We had to train our guns up 90 degrees to try to hit the high altitude bombers in the, the Arizona caught this hit and the, it blew up and it just it shook the ship and the, and it blew 110 foot of the bow of the ship off. We were inside of this director and of course that protected us a little bit because the director was thin walled steel but well we got caught in that ball of fire and with no place to go. And it seemed like forever, but uh, finally the flames died down and the, the vessel was tied up alongside of us, which is a repair ship, and smoke drifted away and we sighted a sailor on the vessel and uh, got him attention. He throws us a heaving line and, and hooked on a heavier line. We pulled it across to the Arizona and tied it off and we proceeded to go across that line hand over hand to the vessel after we were hurt, after we were burnt. The Japs were still pounding us and the strafing us and the, the whole bit. And the, they finally got a shore boat and got us in a shore boat and took us over to the dock. And they put us in an open air truck and took us to the U.S. Naval Hospital there in Pearl Harbor. The Arizona burned for three and a half days after that. A million pounds of ammunition exploded. Aviation gas, fuel oil. They lost 1,177 men on the Arizona. And just a horrible day.